we have arrived in Johannesburg. Johannesburg. We're going to our hotel to check in at the Holiday Inn. And then from there, we're not going to do anything today. So boring day. Just tra just travel to Johannesburg. Tomorrow though, we leave for Kruger. So the next vlog, this vlog, you'll see animals next. We have arrived in Kruger. Yay, more Yay. animals. Yay. It took us a long, long time to get here, but it was an easy drive aside from a few crazy potholes that we will show you right now. And we're ready to find some animals. Good morning, we are in Kruger and we are going on our first morning walk. It's really, really early, it's still dark out, but the sun will be up before we know it. Yeah, it's 5 a.m. We're heading out on our walk. We're gonna go see what we can find on foot out in the Kruger Park. certain areas, 150 square kilometers, which is huge. And they'll walk and they'll hunt. And you see they walk along game park. Look at all these animals walking on the game park. A horn, kudu horn, whatever. This is keratin. And you get them. Just like a sleeper. One time sleeper, I see four times. back from our morning walk and that was really cool because we kind of got trapped in between some elephant herds and it was a little nerve-wracking but it just kind of was thrilling so yeah it's scarier than I thought because we don't actually get close to very many animals but it's like it's very daunting being somewhere where they say don't get out don't get out and then you're all of a sudden you're out yeah and it's cool because it's all about preservation so you know we don't disturb them we're just there observing and they teach you about the land they teach you about the different animal prints and, and different things and it was so interesting and so unique and just a different experience being able to walk where the animals walk instead of being in a car where you're sort of in your protected little bubble. Well, we were with people that weren't following the instructions so they're like yeah. stay together stay in a straight line and then there's people just like wandering away and it was good it meant we weren't going to be the ones that got eaten but I was nervous for them. Yeah now we're heading out in the car back in our protect protected bubble and we're going to try and find some more animals. I don't know what we've done to upset this bird but like, no. he, he was pecking at our windshields. Not the hyena. Not Is it clear enough? Yeah. What's up, bro? We found a buffalo. It's all good. With birds on his back. Hmm. 
So friendly. You were only a bit scared to go running. He is watching us. So we just saw a huge group of elephants. Um, Mar while Mark was filming out the window, a group of about six of them started running faster than I've ever seen elephants running in our direction, which is kind of scary given our Tosha encounter. But luckily they wanted nothing to do with us, but we waited, we were a little patient, and then we saw an elephant with tusks that were at least three foot long. Um, it was crazy. They're huge, huge, huge. We were just running down the road and this guy came flying across the road in front of us. So down here we have the Oliphants River, which is where we actually overlook from our camp at Oliphants. And you're allowed to get out of the car here and enjoy the view. And if you're lucky, you might even spot some hippos or something. I don't know about hippo spotting, but I found myself a goat. There's an elephant. Yeah, it is, yeah. Me too. Hopefully you don't see him come charging at the car <laughs> during this footage. You guys will know before we do. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe up here. Check out our most recent other videos over here. Or subscribe to our other channel over here.